Welcome to Langraskaya, to a game from Relic's Balance Preview Tournament. Yes, I'm playing in a tournament and I'm casting it live, rather. Uh, yeah, just commentary live. It's gonna be fun. Uh, my opponent is Strelok over here, Strelok, playing as OKW, and I'm playing as the Soviets, as you can see. And yes, this map is Langraskaya, and as you can see, my units are spawning out of the things. It's just new, everything. And he's got, you cannot see it, but he's got Panzer IV Bulletin, so I will not be going T-34s as I thought I would have uh, gone in case I wasn't um, in danger of being Panzer IV. And he's going for my cutoff of Storm Pioneers for some reason. Now I'll be responding with my conscripts over here. And I'll keep uh, just moving in infantry from both sides. He'll eventually have to just retreat out of it. In the meantime, I'll use my engineers to cap around. I'll go with a lot of conscripts on this map because it's really good for this. So I can cap the fuel point, or rather the um, cutoff that he got. He didn't lose any models, so that was kind of worth it for him just to disrupt. Uh, even though it was a lost engagement, he's still managed to get a bit of disruption on my shit going. So that's good for him. Uh, unfortunately for him, he will not be able to uh, make much use of it. And I'll try to get um, as far into his territory as possible. Just capture his own fuel point or perhaps the cutoff. Because that would be kind of good. And here comes a Volksranger squad, very interestingly. Already in uh, heavy cover, because he built sandbags. Very smart move of them. So I managed to take the house, and I'll flank around with my infantry. There's also a second uh, full turn deer squad coming in, and with that, that means that I'll have to direct a few more units over there. Uh, my first compass squad is taking a lot of damage into the Storm Pioneers approaching, so that's not good. He's got a cube login, that's very interesting. Uh, it will be a little bit annoying, but I can deal with that fairly easily. Um, I'll take the munitions point, just because I can. Um, now he's gonna capture my cutoff again. He's gonna throw an incendiary grenade, I believe. Let's see. It does look like that he's going for an incendiary. No, he's just trying to surround me. Okay. Meanwhile, I've got a new conscript squad, and I can use them to secure my cutoff fairly easily. Not too big a deal on that end. He's planting a mine, that's very interesting. Now. My other conscript squad is taking a lot of damage, so I'll use them to cap. And the uh, pioneers are going somewhere or not? They're not actually going anywhere. It's very interesting. So I'll pick up mine sweepers as soon as possible, but in the meantime, I really need to get these pioneers off my ship. In the meantime, my infantry is doing fairly well. Um, we need to not eat any mines though and also I really need to get out of this building because it's gonna be taking a lot of damage and I need the field infirmary as well oh shit they might actually be running into the mine as they retreat that would not be very good for me uh, yeah they did run into the mine but they only took one loss uh, one model loss so that's fine um, not really too concerned about that I'll plant a mine over there just in case I'm gonna have my field infirmary by the time any substantial units have to retreat, I got my conscripts capturing the points, so that's all good. So far it's going fairly decently. Uh, map control is a little bit in his favor, but um, now I've been able to pretty much decap his own fuel, get a lot of map control on the right side of the map, and I'll go for the middle VP and a few of his points outside the base. Or not, and he's building his own sandbags, which means that I'll have to just shoot him while he's building, and my Construct's not really doing that much to the Grandiers, but I can at least uh, force something over here if I can move in my second squad to help support this engagement, but he might be coming in with uh, Storm Pioneers very soon, so I should be very careful with this. Doesn't look like his own um, infantry is being microed, he's trying to wipe out my squad, but he will lose his own squad. It does look like it, yep. That is excellent for me, and I really should be going for uh, AT grenades. He's going for my squad, 
definitely, but not really sure that's gonna succeed. Is he gonna wipe it? No, I don't think so. If he wiped it, that would have been really annoying for me. So I'm going for AT grenades, and I'll go for um, tier two into tier four, or rather tier three, as soon as possible. Oh, look, Storm Pioneers. He's trying to use his cube wagon to cap, but I'll um, cut him off with my own infantry, who have AT grenades now. So just be able to do that. Is this going well? Decently enough. No, nope, need to run away. Need to run away as quickly as possible. Uh, cube wagon's gonna die. Uh, flame for engineers? No, minesweeper engineers. Much more important right now that I get the minesweepers out, just for safety in case of mines. Uh, what cut off? I got cut off from something. Uh, I have no idea what that cut off is supposed to be about. Um, I'm also gonna need to pull back my uh, minesweepers after I capture this point, just to build the tech, stru tech structure. And here's some folks grinders that are very low on HP. Let's. A pretty easy pickup for my conscripts. I'll send this one, uh, this one conscript squad over there to uh, capture the point. In the meantime, I'm sending the other squads around the map. Uh, I'll take this house because it's a very important point on this map, and I'll send this other squad down to these uh, hail bags over here, hail bays, uh, to get some heavy cover, uh, get a nice bit of advantage in case the enemy comes in and tries to do something funny. Now over here, I should be able to at least decap the point. Um, I'll go for the VP as well. Uh, I don't seem to be needing the house, but I'll send another squad in there anyway. Now I can build my tech. I can build up to tech 3, uh, tier 3. What is this? This is a Farshimager squad, very likely that it is a Far Farshimager. Uh, I'll just leave it there, uh, whatever it is. Or it might actually be something that sneaked past over here. Might be a Sturm Pile. Uh, oh, MG34, so that means um, that he's upgraded at least one tier. Uh, rather one tech. A second MG-34. Oh, okay, that's very interesting. No, time to retreat. Over there. So there's, an, there's a machine gun over here, so I need to get off this point as soon as possible. I'll get the, um, whatchamacallit, get the cutoff. I'll have to retreat out of the cutoff very soon, though, because uh, I cannot win engagements over here right outside the base. Just try to get out as quickly as I can. In the meantime, I'll send the second squad over to the rest to the right side of the map. And it is a um, folks grand here with SDG upgrades. Of course, there's also a machine gun over here. I can see it from my ha map hacks exploits. And I don't really think that I can dislodge this machine gun. In the meantime, I'll just cap around some points. And I'll try to crawl out of the range as quickly as I can. I'll just send my spare squad over there. I'll get a quad, actually. A quad would be very nice at this point. A quad into a... Um, whatchamacallit? A quad into a um, SU-76. Why, you may ask? Well, as you can see right now, I've got exactly the resources for a quad and the upgrade. And then the SU-76 is because, well, later on I'll have need of the AT capacity because... I mean, the guy has Panzer IV bulletins, so I really should be careful with that stuff. And that is an MG42, so that means Farshimagers, uh, or uh, Fortifications Doctrine, because that's the only way you can uh, get that uh, unit as OKW. And it does look like I'm losing all of the engagements, so that's pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna send the half track to the right side of the map, upgrade it. Of course, I'll have to be careful about uh, the. Um, Folks Grandiers, as they do have Panzerfausts in this version of the game. Should not be uh, losing my shit to this. Should be very careful about where I'm going with that. I'm gonna send in the um, engineers to protect it and repair it in case anything happens. Now it will be upgraded, and after it's upgraded, I think I'll be able to at least. Force this squad away, if not even wipe it actually. It's very low on HP. And I don't think this is an MG42, I think this is an MG34, which means that. Well, it's less dangerous against my quad. Yes, this is pretty much gonna be a wipe. 100% sure that it's gonna be a wipe. And then I can also. Oh shit! That is a Panzer Post. Thankfully, he wasn't really microing it. I need to upgrade Molotovs actually. 
because he's being very annoying with these buildings and these uh, MGs. I'll use a supply drop. The reason I'm using that is because uh, with that I can see uh, whether or not he's got um, Schwerer Panzer headquarters. It doesn't look like he's got a Schwerer Panzer headquarters, at least not yet. He's retreating his machine gun, which is wise, but I think I might be able to wipe it anyway. Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. But I'll be able to at least capture this point. Oh, flame grenade. That's not good. That's gonna put me in range of the machine gun, I believe. I'm gonna get an AT gun because I uh, kind of need AT. Yeah, as you can see, the machine gun is very treacherous over here. I'll get the quad repaired. Thankfully the flame grenade ran out. I did take a little bit of damage, but it is acceptable. I'm winning this engagement, thankfully. Now my uh, quad is going to be repaired, and I'll use it. So this lodge this MG42 that's just so very annoying. And then I'll send my engineers to capture the fuel point, because I really need that. And I'll send these conscripts over here to capture the fuel point as well. I'll send this conscript quad to the cutoff, and I'll bring up the AT gun, at least over here. Just in case there's something very sneaky, like a looks that comes up. I don't believe there will be, but it might be possible. So just It's always nice to be prepared. There's a Rakan Verfer. I'll need to just clear it out as soon as possible, because... Oh, yep. Yeah. Where'd the... Okay. I'm just trying to deal a lot of damage to Rakan Verfer before it can kill me. At least I'm able to flank it. Okay, that's good. I'm not really sure what this uh, Folks Grandier squad is doing. So I'll try to wipe it. Uh, there's a bunch of enemies that are coming in over here. I don't think I can wipe the squad, but I can at least uh, dislodge this machine gun from the place that it's been annoying me from this entire game. And I should really move the AT gun over here. I should also bring out a Maxim, because that will help, him out, help me out very much against um, the infantry swarm. Even though it's not really a swarm that he's got, it's just more of a, a few units that are really, really annoying. So at least I've been able to well, force back the machine gun very soon, I hope, because it's really being annoying. So what is this, a engineer squad? You can also bring out a Su-76, that is excellent. Got the MG-42 decrewed, so I'll be able to recapture it and bring it over. If I my units cooperate, of course. I'll just bring it over at this house. Holy shit, we really need to run away from that. Okay, of course, on the other side of the map, it's only a... Um, it's only an engineer and a... Um, an engineer and a machine gun, so that means that there's no Panzerfausts. So I'm just gonna send my shit there, or here my quad, just to do a little bit of damage and I eat a flame grenade because I'm just so very smart. Uh, Su-76 is on the field. I'm bringing it up, up to somewhere where it can be useful. I'm gonna use this quad to wipe out his own uh, machine gun again, and then I can chase actually this retreat over here. Su-76 needs to stop. I don't really want it on the front line. I'm gonna get into this place, uh, building thing. Two seventy six gun artillery here. Keep chasing. Oh, this is a lot of damage. I don't think I can wipe it though. Uh, unfortunately, my engineers are being retarded. So this squad needs to go over here. 76 needs to get out of the way. And then I'll send my conscripts to the left side of the map. A nice incendiary grenade he threw. Half track needs to get over here. VP situation is fairly uh, good. Pretty much I'm in complete control. Keep the machine gun in the center. Send out a second. Uh, Resource drop, just in case he's got something uh, like a Sphere Panzer headquarters. Doesn't appear to be. 
Again, the map hacks are just very appreciated, as always. I could be going for a tier 4, actually, and it would probably be for the best. I'll get this machine gun if I can... If I can get... Okay, finally. Um, so the engineer will go back to the base to reinforce, and the machine gun will cap the fuel point. He's got a no another machine gun over here, and my unit's bobbing up to it uh, like an idiot. There's a um, Rakenwerfer bot over here. No, it went into the building. I'll molot out the building, because that's just a very tempting target. And then I'll send my quad all the way around to deal with this squad over here. So the Rakenwerfer is the first one to retreat out of the house. I can probably bring up something, like my Super 76, to deal some damage to the stuff. Uh, looks like the machine gun is still around. I ate a Fang, Panzerfaust. So thankfully my machine gun over here is able to do some good stuff. I I heard grenade. Oh, yep. It was the Maxim. So I'll retreat out of the building with my no men left. And I'll use this machine gun over here. This over here, my M3 half track needs to self repair. My uh, engineers in the base need to do this. Then I need to do this, do this, and keep the machine gun over here. Rather do this, then bring up the AT gun up to about here, and bring this machine gun to this house just in case he tries to do something funny. Send my conscripts here. Capture this point, and if think this is over. And here's a Puma, uh, which is a fine choice for a situation, but it's not a very good one in the long run. As you can see, my Su-76 is already pretty decent at destroying it, and soon when I have my tier 4, I'll be able to bring out a... Um, what can I bring out that's good against the Puma? Nothing, really. I can bring out a Kachusha to kill the infantry, make it so his Puma doesn't really matter at all. And now I have access to KV-8 Flamethrower tanks. Should I do that? No, I should. Uh, I should find mines. Mine over here, mine over here, mine over here. There we go. And then a repair station at my base would also be very, very useful. Bring up some stuff. What's hitting my machine gun? That's his own machine gun. I really don't want to be flanked around by Puma. The Puma might actually be coming over here. Squad reinforced. Nice flame grenade on his part, but I will not fall for it. Get behind here and shoot at the sandbags that are blocking my own cover. Good. The ghosting was really annoying, and here comes the Rekan Herfer. We need to retreat. I'm gonna use my conscripts or rather my engineers to repair. I've got a fair line over here set up about the entirety of the duration of the map. I'll get out a Kachusha and then wait for my KV-2. Uh, the reason that um, there was a veto system to choose the map, and I chose Langriskaya in the end uh, of uh, the two choices that were left, which were Langriskaya and, um, as you can see, the Storm Pioneers with Frex, the new addition to the OKW. Um, I chose it because, well, um, the other choice was Arnhem Checkpoint, but on Langraskaya, the KV-2 is just excellent, so it is always a nice choice. And I was gonna plant vines, but since I decided to repair that, I didn't really. Oh shit, here comes the Puma. I can get behind it and block it. Oh shit. Use the attack round, use the attack round! Good, good. What's going on over here? Seems all fine. Patricia is a uh, free control group for group number three, and I don't think he can bring out something else. I never want to say that word, uh, or rather that sentence, as there can always be something else, but Katusha's base. I'm gonna self-repair my own vehicle because I don't really have the time to wait for my engineers. Looks like a, I wiped something. That's just really nice. I'm gonna use these conscripts to, well, uh, run and get repaired at the base. Rockets to target enemy down. Oh, that's pretty nice. 
So I'll just build a few repair stations all the way around the map. Because this is really good. That is a Stuka. Oh, that was, that's on the other side. And that wiped my machine gun. It's okay, I've got my vehicles. That's, they're still fine. Yeah, the Stuka will be a little annoying, but soon I'll have my uh, my Revenge, aka my KB2, the best tank in the game, of course. My other kind of Revenge, aka the uh, Jusha X vehicle, for pissing people off, of course. Su-76 is gonna be brought about here, and then I'll bring in, this is a cloaked Rocket Inverter that's uh, capping. Don't want to be having my Su-76 on the... I think it's facing about uh, here-ish. Yep. Oh, there's a second wreck Verver. Okay. I'm gonna use my engineers to capture the point. Su-76 barrage is fine enough. I just need a good target for my Kachusha. Pinned, that's not fine. This is fine. Come on. Oh, that, that could be really, really good. Of course, it misses completely. He's probably gonna use these areas as the target of his own Stuka. Which is not exactly how I envisioned it. And my Kachusha just completely missed that machine gun, which is just a shame. Awesome unit, but again, sometimes it just doesn't want to work in your favor. There will be a Stuka soon over here, so I need to uh, pretty much just, yep, move all my units. Try to wipe out the machine gun. Oh, it was on the house. Yep. Seventy six can fire in the base for all I care. Um, that would be very nice. Just to piss him off, uh, getting artillery in your base is some of the uh, most annoying things that could happen to you in Company Furious 2. And that's two Reckon Burpers, that is a dead quad. Yep. But I've got my Clement Barashil of 2 heavy tank. So that's just really nice. That's Farsham Jaegers. That's a Volno Grenade. Gonna avoid the mono grenade. Gonna get my AT gun out of this monstrously bad area. Can actually steal this machine gun. I like stealing shit. Well, these guys are uh, pretty much crawling and they'll never get up. So, can use my Kachusha over here to kill this squad that's just capturing point. Rather, uh, Attempt to kill, as the Kachusha most often does. Yup, look, just one guy remaining. Oh, grab my. Oh no, he's dead from my constant rifle fire. And this is pretty much over. GG, get to call in my KV2. I'm gonna use the artillery barrage right here where there's everything. And the SU 76 misses at point blank range. His artillery barrage. Of course, the. That is ridiculous, actually. That is just actually ridiculous. Oh well. Ha! <laughs> KV-2. I love the KV-2. My favorite tank ever. It's like the most impractical piece of shit tank ever, but... Uh, it's just... In a game. In games, it's just the best thing ever. As you can see, it's just the best. He's dead. And I do believe that is over. Uh, he's not gonna have the capabilities to... He's probably Stukaining his own support weapons, actually. No? Oh, Stukaining this. 
Well, that's probably more wise than shooting your support weapons at this point. You've got like two points left. Previet, and he's dead. Well, that's very unfortunate. I was gonna kill him, but nope. And it's gonna die in the end. So, I thank you all for watching. This was like the quarterfinals or something. Uh, something like that. I got a lot of buys because a lot of people are not really entering the thing. I'll record the next match as soon as I'm in. So I'll see you soon. Bye.